Welcome to ECLIMU, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we have discussed moments, and then we discussed moments of parallel forces. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss moment of anti-parallel forces, which sometimes we call a couple. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to identify and describe what anti-parallel forces are, then determine the moment for a couple or for anti-parallel forces, then finally be able to handle few questions concerning a, a couple or what we call anti-parallel forces. So anti-parallel forces or what we call a couple, I'm very sure you know a couple, the one that you know from your families and relationship. But in this case, we are talking of a couple in terms of forces. And these are forces which are equal, parallel, by the act opposite to each other. Uh, like you can see on the screen, we have the first force here, which is acting upward. Then we have another force here, which is acting downward. And the two of them are labeled FF. It means these two forces are equal. The only difference is that they act opposite to each other. Like a couple in a family or in a relationship, we have a male and female. They are opposite sex, but they have equal opportunities and equal powers. So in this case, these forces are, are equal, but they act opposite to each other. And there is no way they can act uh, in one direction. So in this case, they are at a distance B from each other. And what we are going to realize for us to get a moment of this uh, couple all and parallel forces then we are going to have or to, to to get a product of one force times the distance between them in this case we are going to get the moment of these two uh, couple so once we are going to get one force because they are equal and opposite then we will get a distance between them that is d and then in this case we will get a moment of this couple and then in this case it will be newton meter and the si unit for a couple or for moment in general so if you consider a couple that we have on the screen there are two forces one moving up then there's another one moving down and they are labeled ff which means they are equal but opposite so in this case if we use the principle of moment that we know that sum of clockwise moment and is equal to sum of anti-clockwise moment therefore in this case we will need a force which is moving down with it is perpendicular distance from the pivot and for us to get that then we need this distance from the pivot to this force and if we label it l then it means the distance which will remain to the second force which is moving up will be the total distance d we subtract the distance that we have removed on the right hand side minus l so if this side we give it d minus l and this side uh, l then in this case for us to calculate moments then we must determine each of these force what moment is it going to give this bar if you pull this force up it's going to make this one to rotate in a clockwise direction therefore it will give this rule a clockwise moment and if you move this one down, it's going to make this rule to rotate in a clockwise direction that it gives it a clockwise moment. So the total moment in this case, we don't have a clockwise moment. We only have clockwise moment. And if we can use that clockwise moment with this distance L and DL to calculate the total moment. So here, total moment is going to be clockwise sum of clockwise moment. So here, if we call this clockwise moment one and this clockwise moment two, so it will be clockwise moment one plus clockwise moment two. But in this case, clockwise moment one, this one here is the force, which is L times the distance L plus the clockwise moment two is the same as force because the forces are equal we said times the distance that is D minus L, D minus L. L like that so this will be our uh, total clockwise moment and if we solve this then it's going to be f l f l plus in this case if we open this bracket of d minus l then it's going to be f times d it will be f d then 
minus f times l then it's going to be fl so here we have fl but in this case if we put like terms together you are going to realize this one here is the same as this one here only that one is negative another one is positive so now if we add them then they are going to give us um, fd plus fl minus fl fl minus fl is zero so this one will be zero then we will have our total moment total moment as fd as fd so this means if you have one force that is f then you multiply by the distance between them d then you are going to get the total moment in this couple and that's what we have noted down here with a bold hint that moment of anticlockwise uh, of anti-parallel forces is the product of one of the forces and the perpendicular distance between them so we are going to do a few examples so that we see how to apply this for this formula so the first question here the figure below shows two equal and opposite forces that is a couple acting on a meter roll at 15 centimeter mark and 75 centimeter mark respectively so if each of the forces has a magnitude of 80 calculate the moment of the rule about that five centimeter mark so about centimeter that five centimeter mark then it means that is the pivot this is the pivot that we have here at that five so in this case we can use the wrong route to calculate the moment that is clockwise moment that is sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum of and clockwise moment and in this case the first force here which is moving up is giving us a clockwise moment and the other one which is moving down on this side is giving us also a clockwise moment so in this case a total moment is going to be the, the two clockwise moments that is cm1 plus cm2 clockwise moment one and clockwise moment two if we call this one clockwise moment two this one clockwise moment one then it's going to be cm1 plus cm2 so in this case if we need that now the total moment we will take the force that is f which is moving up in this case let me just write it which is eta times the distance from the pivot that is that 5 minus 15 it's going to be 20 which is, if we convert to meter it's going to be 0 0.2 meter this is newton then plus the cm2 we have a, a force of eta the force moving down times the distance between them is 75 minus 35 which is 40 if we convert it to meter 0 0.4 meter and in this case then it's going to be total moment here 80 times 0 0.2 this is the same as um, 8 times 2 which is the same as 16 newton meter plus 80 times 0 0.4 it is the same as 4 times 8 which will give us 32 newton meter so in this case 32 plus 16 we are going to get we are going to get 8 then 48 newton meter so that is a long way when we can use the, we use the principle of moment but now if we use our our equation of for a couple this case a uh, total moment total moment is going to be one of the forces times the distance between them now in this case the forces that we have is 80 newton the distance between them is 75 to 15 so in this case the distance we have is 75 minus 15 which is the same as 60 centimeter which if we convert to a meter it will be 60 divided by 100 in this case we will have in meters then now in this case we will move down 8 newtons times in this case it will be 0 0.6 0 0.6 meter now if we multiply 8 times 0 0.6 this 0 will move one then it will be 8 times 6 
which will give us 48 newton meter so either way either when you use the clock the principle of moment or you use now our new equation for a couple that is one of the force times the distance it will give you the same answer so the second question the figure below shows two equal and opposite forces acting on a meter roll at 22 centimeter mark and 67 centimeter mark respectively if each of the forces has a magnitude of 60 newtons calculate the moment on the meter roll about 42 centimeter mark so in this case we're going to use the two methods the first one is the principle of moments where this force is going to give us a clockwise moment and then this one is also going to give us a clockwise moment if it's applied at that point where we have a pivot at point p that is 42 centimeter mark so in this case for us to get a total moment total moment in this process or in this system is the same as uh, the first moment that is the first clockwise moment that is a force of 60 newton times 42 minus 22 that is 20 centimeters convert to meter is 0 0.2 meter then plus the other clockwise moment here where we have a force of 60 newton times the distance between them that is 67 minus 42 that will be 25 centimeter and if you convert it to meter it will be 0 0.25 meter so in this case if you solve this one the first one is going to give you 60 times 0 0.2 that is 12 a newton meter then the other one 6 times 0 0.25 is like 60 times a quarter that is a quarter of 60 which is 15 newton meter then in this case the total moment will be 15 plus 22 which is the same or plus 12 which is the same as 27 newton meter so that is the moment of this or the total moment in this case when we use the principle of moment since the anticlockwise moments are zero then now if we calculate using our equation that is total moment total moment is equals to f times the distance between them so our task here now is to find the distance between these two that is 67 subtract 22 in this case it's going to be 45 uh, 45 centimeter so in this case if we write now our equation down total moment is equals to force one of the forces is 60 times the distance between them is 45 if we convert to meter it will be 0 0.45 meter then in this case if you multiply uh 60 you take 60 you multiply it with 0 0.45 that is 0 0.45 the distance between the two forces and then it will give you uh, 27 newtons per meter so it will give you 27 newton meter not per meter so in this case you can see the moment the total moment that we got using the principle of moment and the moment that we get when we use our equation for a couple it's the same so that marks the end of our lesson today for more questions and solutions like this, visit ECLIMU Learning Simplified. The website is down here, www.eclimu.com, and you will get learning really simplified.